Welcome to GED Math and Dirt News. In these tutorials, I will show you how to solve many of the GED math problems using the TI-30XS scientific calculator. Welcome to GED Math in 30 Days. I'll be your host. My name is Jeremy Tinsley. I'm an adult educator for over 20 years, and I decided to throw my hat in the ring to help more students pass their GED math exam. Um, today, our lesson will, our topic will be evaluating algebraic expressions and evaluating functions. Uh, should be a fairly short lesson. Uh, be sure to subscribe, to, be sure to comment and like, and, and then check out my website, pastgedmath.com. I have an incredible uh, ebook that, that goes into detail on how to use the calculator for almost every type of problem that you'll see on the GED, GED exam. But today, um, I'm glad you're here. You'll be glad you spent this uh, 10 to 15 minutes learning how to evaluate algebraic expression functions. So today, let's start. Uh, first of all, you'll see on our screen, it has minus three minus x to the fourth over two x plus three when x is equal to minus three. You can expect one or two problems of this nature on your exam, um, so be ready. Uh, for this type of problem. So today we're going to discuss it. Uh, as I'm doing this problem, uh, initially what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you the common mistake that people make fairly quickly. Uh, so let me get my pen here. So most people, when they substitute this x to the fourth, minus three to the fourth power, they do it like this. And this is equal to negative 81. But since you're substituting the negative three for x, it should be in parentheses. And this will give you a positive 81. Makes the uh, problem totally different. From that one simple sign, uh, you get this problem incorrect. So first of all, let me clear the screen and let's do it in the correct way. So first of all, uh, you can pause this video, take a couple minutes to do this problem yourself. Welcome back. Um, and let's try this problem. So Again, first of all, we're going to do it manually, and then I'm going to show you how to uh, do this problem with the calculator. So we got minus 3, minus, again, we're going to put that negative 3 in parentheses to the full power, 2 times minus 3 plus 3. Okay, so we have minus 3, minus, minus 3 to the fourth is 81. over minus six plus three, we get negative 84 over minus three, and we get a positive 28, okay? That's how you would do it manually. Uh, most students, uh, in my experience, takes two, about two minutes, two and a half minutes to solve this problem. Um, but guess what? I'm about to show you how to do this problem in about 30 seconds. Okay, now it's going to take practice, and that's why, uh, with the help of the ebook and uh, even using the 90-day uh, trial pair uh, for the software emulator or having the calculator at hand, is very important. So let me clear the screen and let me show you the calculator. Okay, this calculator. So let me clear the screen first. There we go. And let me show you the calculator. There we go. Okay, so first of all, what you want to do is that first part of this is um, when x is equal to minus 3. So the first thing we want to do is store x as negative 3. So how are we going to do that is we're going to do negative 3. And we, use, we want to use the negative near enter. We don't want to use the subtraction sign. So I'm going to call this negative. I'm going to call this subtraction. So minus 3, store x that easy. Press enter. Now minus 3 is stored in the variable x. Okay, so now we're going to hit nd because we have division. And again, if remember, if, if your expression starts with a negative, you want to use that negative sign, not the subtraction. So in this, in, in, our, in my videos, I call that negative, and then I call uh, the my, when I use the subtraction sign, the subtraction. So minus 3, I'm going to hit the subtraction, x, and I'm going to raise that to the full power. Okay. I'm going to get out of that uh, 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 exponent by hitting the right arrow, and then I'm going to hit the down arrow to move into the denominator. 2 
x plus 3. I'm hitting my right arrow to get out of my fraction, and I'm going to press enter. That's simple. I know, I know, I know. It's that simple. So again, so if you notice on the screen, I have the keys that you have to press so you can keep practicing, making sure you know how to solve, I mean, store your numbers. Okay, so that's one example. Uh, let me clear. Oops, let me clear the calculator. And let's go to another example. The second example is where you're storing two variables. So if you notice now, we're not using X, we're using A and B. But of course, it's the same type of problem. So what you want to do is first you want to store A as negative 2. Uh, then you want to store uh, B as negative 3. And then you're going to write the, the expression exactly the way you see it. So what we're going to do is let's open the calculator. And we're going to store uh, A is minus 2. So we're going to do minus 2 store and we will hit this variable button we're going to keep on clicking it until you get to the variable a and then we're going to press enter very important but then we're going to hit negative three store and we want the variable button until we get to b and we're going to press enter we have now stored a as negative two and b as negative three so now we just want to to enter the expression as exactly the way you see it um again so let me remind you let's just take a couple seconds so you see it uh, minus a squared b plus 2ab minus 3b squared. So we're going to type exactly the way we see it. And this is the beauty of being able to store your variables and use this calculator. Okay, so let me go back to the calculator. So we're going to have, remember, if it starts with a, a, a negative, so we're going to hit that, that negative sign. We're going to hit the variable button until we get to a. We're going to hit the x squared button. And then we're going to hit the variable button until we get to b. So a squared b plus 2ab, 2, we want the variable button until we get to a. Now, this is very important. If you have two variables next to each other, you gotta hit, You have to hit that right arrow and then hit the variable button again so it doesn't know to keep changing the same variable. So 2ab minus, or not minus, hit the subtraction sign, and 3b squared. So 3, we're going to hit the variable button until we get to b, and then we're going to hit the x squared button, and then we're going to press enter. Look at that, minus 3 that easy in order to solve this problem, okay? Now, it would take us quite a few minutes probably to do that by hand, you know, negative being squared and negative in front of the a squared. So again, so that's how you would do this problem. So let's do some some, some more examples. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to do it manually and then we're gonna do it with the calculator. Let me clear the screen. Clear the calculator and then clear the screen. There we go, let's go back to our uh, worksheet. Now, um, let's go to some practice problems. Okay, so look at this. Uh, let's try. Let, let's do this problem. Uh, let's do it uh, um, by hand first. So again, everywhere we see x, we're gonna put minus four. So we got minus four. It's just being multiplied, so we're gonna put in parentheses that minus four. Minus three times eight, and then two times minus four. Okay. You want to remember your, your uh, order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So what we're going to do is we're going to do multiplication first. We're going from left to right. So we got a positive 16. Minus, we got 24 as the numerator. We got minus 8 as the, as the denominator. We got 16 minus a negative 3. Two negatives make a positive. So 16 plus 3. Is 19. Now there are many places where you can make a mistake here on this on this problem. Okay, so we got 19. Very good. So now what we what we're about to do is we're about to do the same problem again using the calculator. So let me clear the screen. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the calculator on the screen, but I'm going to uh, uh, adjust it so we can look at it right here, right next to it. Okay. So again, we want to store x as negative 4. So I'm going to hit negative 4, store. And we're going to hit that variable to get to x. We're going to press enter. We're going to hit 8. We're going to hit store. And then we're going to hit the variable button until we get to y. And we're going to press enter. And now we want to enter this expression exactly the way you see it. Uh, because, it because it begins with a negative, we're going to hit the negative sign. We're going to hit the 4. And we're going to hit the variable button x. Then we're going to hit the subtraction sign. 
then we're gonna hit ND. Then we're gonna put three, and we'll hit the variable button until we get to Y. Hit the down arrow, two, and then hit the variable button at X. And remember to get out of the fraction, hit the right arrow, and press enter. Again, we got 19 again. But if you notice, it was much faster. It took about 15 seconds. Uh, so practice storing your variables and uh, putting your expressions into the calculator. Very good. Okay. Um, and, and, and so we're going to go to one more example. So we use one variable. We use two variables. In this, in this example, we use two variables. But the last example I want to show you, let me uh, clear the calculator. Well, before I clear it, let me show you all the keys that I pressed first. So you can be able to see everything we did. So if you want to uh, you know, reproduce what we just did, there we go. Okay, you can pause it if you want. So I'm now going to clear it. And the last example I want to go over for the day is if you have to evaluate a function. And I can almost guarantee you on your exam, you're going to have to evaluate a function. Okay, I almost can guarantee you. So uh, there are several examples. Uh, I want to use or a couple examples I want to show you. Uh, so uh, first of all, let's go back to our worksheet. Okay. F of x is equal to minus 3.35 multiplied by 2x squared minus 4x plus 7. Most people that see this would have, they would have troubles. All this is, is evaluating this function at x equal 3. So we're just substituting uh, that three in. So how we would do it manually is just th minus 3.35 2 times 3 squared minus 4 times 3 plus 7 minus 3.35 in parentheses 2 times 9 minus 12 plus 7 minus 3.35, 18, minus 12, plus 7. And then we can just uh, go from left to right inside the parentheses. 18 minus 12 is 6, plus 7 is 13. And then we can multiply 13 by 3.35. OK, so that's how you would do that problem manually or by hand. Um, Again, if you want to take time, pause the video and do it yourself and just to see what you would get. Um, I, I would always tell my students do it manually and then would, uh, then follow it up by doing it on the calculator. Uh, my hope is that when you take your GD math exam that you use this calculator for at least half the exam, about 20 out of the 40 questions. Uh, you should see you shorten your time. If you've taken a, a math test before, you should shorten your time about 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, so let me clear the screen. And let's do this uh, with the calculator. OK, let me show the calculator. OK, that makes it a little bigger. OK, there we go. All right, so remember, we want to store x is 3. So we're going to do 3 store x. We're going to press Enter. Then we're going to type it in exactly where you see it, minus 3.35 in parentheses, 2x squared minus 4x plus 7. As you notice, you see how fast I can cycle through and, and, and put it using the calculator. It just comes with practice. I would say it take about 15 to 20 days with my ebook um, on, on my website, uh, passgdmath.com. Once you get used to it, this becomes easy. And you have minus 43.55. Very easy problem it becomes a very easy problem. Okay. And one last example I want to show you. Again, uh, uh, evaluating uh, uh, algebraic expressions. Okay, so one last example before we stop. So let me clear the screen. Um, and this comes from the GED study guide, which they offer. And this is a, a prime example, okay? It says, Tim is looking at two websites that allow customers to print their own designs on T-shirts. One website charges $24 per T-shirt plus $8 shipping. The other website uses the equation C equal 22N plus 12 to find the total cost. What is the difference in the cost of each website if Tim orders 10 t-shirts? So first of all, in order to do this problem, what you need to do is um, uh, get the algebraic expression first. So first one is 24 times the number of t-shirts, which is 
they use in plus eight dollars shipping. Okay, this was the the first website. The second website, they give you an equation. So we're going to evaluate and evaluate that equation. I give you twenty two in plus twelve. But they want to know what's the difference in cost of each website if Tim orders 10 t-shirts. So again, if we're doing this manually, just do 24. The number of t-shirts is N, N t-shirts. So substitute that in, 10 plus eight. Same thing here, uh, 22 times 10 plus 12. So we get 240 plus eight, which is 248 for the first website. For the second website, we get 220 plus 12, which is 232. But that's not what they want. They want the difference. So we make sure we read each question carefully. The difference, 248 minus 232 is 16. Okay, so that's how you would do it manually. Again, this is another algebraic evaluating uh, algebraic expression. Okay, so now, but of course, we want to do this um, um, using our calculator. Um, so. Uh, 24n plus 8 and 22n plus 12. Again, I want to show you very quickly. Let me clear the screen. 24n plus 8 and 22n plus 12. We're going to grab our calculator. Okay. Now, we could store x. And I remember it used n, but we don't have the variable n on our calculator. But it does not matter. In this case, instead of using n, let's just use x. Remember, we can name any variable we want. So we know x was 10. OK. And we have the first, uh, let's recall, the first one was um, 24n, or in our case, 24x plus 8. 24x plus 8. So 24x plus 8. The second one was 22x plus 12. And then we just can subtract those two. Now, since that we did the 32 last, we can just do 248 minus 232. And we got 16. And that's how you would do this problem, a simple problem. I hope this helps. Um, again, make sure you uh, uh, go uh, visit my website, passgdmath.com. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you comment. Make sure you like. Uh, if you want more, some um, more uh, extensive tutoring, uh, join me for GED Math Mondays, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Um, go to passgedmath.com, register. Um, and every Monday from 6 to about 7 o'clock, uh, we go over the most commonly missed GED questions and also questions um, that you may have or having difficulty with. So thank you for joining me. Hope to see you soon and have a good day.